Welcome again. Right now we're at John chapter 16, verses 1 through 4. Now, this is a very interesting portion of Scripture because right here Jesus is predicting terrorism against Christians. Let's read it. Jesus said, I have said these things to you so that you wouldn't be caused to stumble. In other words, that you wouldn't be caused to sin or fall away from the faith. They will put you out of the synagogues. So Jesus is comforting them right here by saying, listen, what I'm saying to you right now, I'm saying this to you because I don't want you to stumble. I don't want you to think that this is strange. Expect them to put you out of the synagogues. Expect them to put you out of more or less places of worship. That includes church, may I add. So Jesus says, when it happens, you know, just know this, that it's okay because I told you it would happen, okay? Don't stumble because of this. Jesus continues by saying, yes, the time comes that whoever kills you will think that he offers a service to God. Now, isn't that interesting? Because, you see, we got different countries, different people, different regimes that are communists, atheists, and they, they would kill Christians just because they're atheists and, you know, they don't have any fear of God in them whatsoever and they don't like Christianity. You know, they want to control you. They're, you know, communists, atheists, okay? So, yes, the history and even today, this present day, we have our share of that. Okay, but Jesus said that the time will come that people will kill you thinking that they're doing a service unto God. Wow, that is a very, very interesting point there. Not just communists, atheists, or, you know, these animalistic people who will kill Christians just because they're people of faith and these other people are part of the kingdom of darkness. No. There's going to be people who are going to be killing you thinking that they're doing a favor to God or thinking that they're obeying a command of God, of their creator. This is a prophecy of a lot of the terrorism that's been going on in the world today. Okay, Jesus prophesied this will happen. He continued by saying, Verse 3, they will do these things because they have not known the Father nor me. This is also a very important point here. He said that people will kill you. Now he's talking to his followers. He's talking to people who believe in him. Jesus said people will kill you. He's talking to his disciples. He's talking to his followers, okay? He said they will kill you thinking that they are doing a favor for God or thinking that they are obeying God, that God wants them to kill you, okay? But he went on to take this a little bit deeper. He said, they're doing this because they have not known the Father. Now, we, we already dealt with this in a previous teaching. If those of you who, who haven't listened to the teaching about Jesus is the way to the Father, very much recommended that you Pause this video right now, pause this teaching, and go back and listen to that teaching, okay? Because we talk about there's a huge difference between coming to God and coming to the Father, okay? The devil comes to God, but the devil doesn't come to his Father, okay? We come to our Father, okay? Jesus said you, you cannot come to the Father except through him. Okay, He didn't say you cannot come to God because even the devil himself comes to God without going through Jesus. Okay, So there's a big difference between knowing God as God or creator and knowing him as father. Okay, Huge difference. Jesus said the people who will be killing Christians thinking that they are obeying some command of God thinking that God wants them to kill Christians. They're doing that because they don't know God as the Father. Okay, that's a huge difference. If they would have known the Father, then they would not have been doing any of these things. Now, Jesus said uh, that they do these things because they have not known the Father. Now, Jesus did not say that they do these things because they don't know God. Notice there's a huge difference. Please grasp this. This is this is enormous. Okay. 
It's important for people to know the Father. Okay? You come to God as Father. Okay? You know, Jesus, the only time Jesus ever called God God is when he was on the cross saying, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? From the position of being disconnected from the Father. Then he started saying God instead of Father. Apart from that, he always said Father. Okay, when he approached God, he always said Father. Okay, when he was talking to unregenerate, unsaved sinners, he referred to his Father as God. Okay, but when he was talking to his disciples, he was he referred to the Creator as Father. Huge difference. Know the difference. In fact, I encourage you to spend some time meditating upon the difference between people who know God as Creator and those who know God as Father. You see, John made it very clear that if you are born of God, you do not sin because the seed of God remains in you, because the seed of God is in you, okay? Because you are born of God, okay? So Jesus did not sin because he was a son of God, okay? Adam sinned because he wasn't born of God. He was created of God. He knew God as creator, not as father. Please grasp this. This is huge. Okay, this is huge. I know I'm getting into a, a lot of uh, deep theological things right here, but hey, I encourage you, pray about it, think about it, meditate, meditate on this, okay? It is awesome. Jesus predicted that terrorists will come terrorizing Christians in the name of what they believe to be the creator. However, he said the, their problem is they do not know the Father. Father. Okay? Get that. There's a big difference between God and Father. Now, Jesus went on to say here in verse 4, he said, But I have told you these things so that when the time comes, you may remember that I told you about them. I didn't tell you these things from the beginning because I was with you. So Jesus is saying basically here, I'm going away. I'm leaving you with my instructions. I'm leaving you with certain instructions, certain predictions, certain prophecies, so that when it happens to you, you know that it's not strange, okay? You know that it, everything's right on track. So this is how Jesus ended this whole prophecy on terrorism. Once again, thanks again for watching. May God bless you and give you rich insight into the things we were talking about today. May you seek him with all your heart. And if I guarantee you, if you seek him with all your heart, if you seek him with all your heart, you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Thank you.